Today I'm going to show you how I set up my panels in Affinity Designer 1.7. It is the latest software. If you've just opened up, you should have the same layout as what I've got. With that being said, I will get straight into it. First thing what I'm going to do is come over to the Assets and Appearance panel on the left hand side. And I'm just going to click on the Appearance drag it out and drop it into the workspace from the transform history and navigator on the right hand side if you just click next to the nav navigators empty space and I'm going to drag all three of them out and put them in my workstation and if you go back to the right hand side and come up to textiles I'm going to click and drag that one out as well. I am going to add a few more panels. To do that, you need to go up to view, come down to studio. I'm going to select the character. Then do the exact same again, but this time click the isometric. The isometric is the isometric grid and you'll see it puts it into the same panel as the characters so i'm going to split them to up by clicking and dragging it out now i'm going to go back to where i was before and click the paragraph and i'm going to leave that one in there because the characters and paragraph are all text type tools and i'm just going to go grab one more and that will be symbols and I'm going to take the symbols out and put it into the workstation now I'm going to start building my panels the way I find easiest to use I'm going to grab the isometric and drop it in next to the assets on the left hand side and I'm going to do the same with the symbols now in the transform history navigator in the empty space how you dragged it out i'm going to grab that and if you come onto the left hand side you'll see in the box come up and when that comes up just drop it in you've got to hit the line just above the name and that box will come up sometimes it can be real fiddly to do but it does work from a characters paragraph one panel I'm going to put in the text styles and just drag and drop that in and the appearance I'm going to drag that and drop it between the effects and styles when the character paragraph and text styles I'm going to click on the empty space next to text styles and I'm going to drop that into the right hand panel but you'll see when we dropped it it's gone in between them both I want my text, character and paragraph at the bottom so you need to grab your layers panel and go back and do what you've just done and that will drop your characters down to the bottom. That layout I find, found works best for what I use it for. So if you've liked this video please hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if if this video has helped and i hope you join me for the next one thank you for watching